Carl County students head back to school tomorrow and your children may be feeling a bit anxious. Some of the questions that may be running through their minds. Will I like my classes? Will I like my teachers? Am I going to have problems with fellow students? How hard is this school year going to be? Joining us now is Paxson School for Advanced Studies counselor Dion Clayton here on The Morning Show. Hey, good to have you here. Thank you um, for having me. Parents may not recognize it because they don't communicate with their kids the way they should, which is a whole other topic. But some children have fear and anxiety about going to the classroom, Absolutely. back to the classroom. How do you mitigate that? Well, my first suggestion would be to students and parents, first of all, have a positive attitude about the upcoming school year. Forget about what may have happened last school year, those good things or bad things, and start positive. Look forward to the school year. I interviewed a man who was a teacher for 33 years on Friday, and we were talking about kids going back to college, who has some of these same fears, by the way. And, and one of his roles, in addition to being a teacher and a lecturer, is he called himself a facilitator. Absolutely. He said, I facilitate conversations, mm -hmm. I ask questions, mm -hmm. and I make things happen. Mm -hmm. And that struck me that even if you have parents, even if your parents have school-aged children who are going to elementary or middle school, you've got to be that kind of facilitator Absolutely. because your kids give you the clues about what's on their mind. And parents need to take heed to those clues that the students are giving them. And students need to feel like they can be comfortable talking to their parents, their teachers, their counselors, their administrators. We're all in the school building to help them be successful and help them with any issues they may have. And after a summer of time off, playing, mm -hmm. There's supposed to be some read, doing some reading, of course, but uh, there can be some information overload Absolutely. when they first go back. Mm -hmm. how, do they, how do they get back into a decent routine? How do they feel comfortable with what's coming their way? My suggestion would be looking at their time management skills and compartmentalizing everything. Do those things that are most important first and then go from there, whatever priorities that they have. And that includes their, their own personal lives because they have to have some personal time along with their studies. And your best advice to the moms and dads out there? My best advice is be your child's cheerleader 24 seven. They're going to have good days and bad days, but they need to know that mom or dad, grandma, grandpa, auntie, uncle, everyone is on their team in their corner and there to support them. And they need rules and parameters. They may tell you Absolutely. otherwise, but they need them and they, they appreciate them. Absolutely. They do at school and at home. Have a certain bedtime, study time, study place. All of those things are important to ensure their success.